Hey guys, it's Mr. That's Ye. I've got a really helpful computer video for you today if you're running into major computer problems on your computer. Um, if you get this error message, how do you want to open this type of file, .exe, um, then I'm going to show you how to fix that. Because if you have this problem, then you know that you can't literally open almost anything on your computer. Any .exe file, you pretty much can't open. Uh, except for Internet Explorer and Chrome, that's how it was for me anyways. But I couldn't open any games, I couldn't open um, FL Studio, I couldn't open Mozilla Firefox, I couldn't go over here and click on Command Prompt. The Command Prompt on my computer would not even open. Uh, if you're running into this same problem, uh, you can't open Red Registry Editor, you can't do uh, the Windows key run and then do CMD as it should bring up command prompt you can't d go over here and do command prompt admin admin you literally can't open anything on your computer uh, I'm going to show you how to fix that so you're gonna go over to search uh, this will be the same on Windows 8.1 obviously or I mean on Windows 7 obviously you won't come over here for search you'll just go down here but um you'll go to search on your computer you'll go to type in command command prompt is what you're going to type in and um, if you can't open command prompt great uh, then this should be no problem at all but if you can't if you click on it and you get an error that says this same thing if it says this then I'm going to show you how to get to command prompt or how to make it work so command prompt you're going to open file location and you'll see that this is just a shortcut so then you'll open file location again and you'll see cmd.exe now if you have a problem where no exe files will work on your computer and it asks you how do you want to open this type of file exe you're going to go to you're going to rename this command.com yes i want to change it and then now you'll see that it still works um, it's just changing file name but it still works which is awesome I'm glad that they had this anyways you're gonna type notepad 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 dot exe and even though no exe files will work notepad will still be able to open so now what you're gonna do uh, you're gonna get what I post in the description will be this Windows Registry Editor version 5.0. You can see all the EXE stuff. It goes into HKEY classes root. This is in your registry editor. Um, so this will fix why none of your EXE files will open. Uh, basically, you're going to copy this whole thing. Which I'll post it in the description. Control, copy. It sh it'll start with Windows Registry Editor version 5.00. And it'll end with this little end to uh, semicolon things. You're going to paste that into the untitled notepad. And you're going to do file, save as, desktop. You're going to save type as all files. The encoding will be Unicode. If there is no encoding for you, then it'll automatically do whatever. But all save type as all files. And encoding Unicode. And you're going to name it fix exe dot reg a registry file save and then you'll get this on your desktop you'll get that it's a registry file so you click on that do you want this following program to make changes to this computer yes yes and then it'll say the keys and values contained in whatever have been successfully added to the registry and now when you go to an exe file for instance like league of legends or whatever you'll see that it'll now open you will no longer get that error oops you will no longer get that error as you can see this one is named eke um i just did that because this is the other registry thing that i made i just renamed it so then you could see what the error looks like um, you should not, you should be totally fine now. Uh, I'd recommend restarting your computer. You can go into, uh, you can rename your command prompt back to exe. 
because then it'll be how it originally was. Everything should work. Um, and that's it, guys. Uh, I hope this really helped you out. I didn't see any other videos like this. I found this online. Uh, I followed some thread to fix because my PC settings or whatever down over here change PC settings. It would force close. It won't even open PC settings. So it was it was apparently a fix, but it ended up screwing up my whole computer where it couldn't open up anything. So that was a quick tutorial for you guys on how to fix that. I'll post this all in the description with also um, uh, instructions down there too probably. Uh, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. Thank you.